What's up, everybody? Steve Action Jackson coming to you from San Diego. The man, the myth, the legend, Manny Vargas in deep Baja on an epic Baja adventure. Um, we apologize for the wait and the technical difficulties, but you know what? Sometimes it's live without a net, or in this case, live without internet. So using a hotspot from his car. Oh, thanks, Jackson. And thank you guys for watching the recorded version of this. I know a few of you are wanted to watch the live version, but unfortunately I didn't have the time. I'm actually working right now, Baja Weekender, but we call it a Baja uh, adventure. It's Monday through Friday. So I was rushing to get back to Ensenada where I can sit down and get everything dialed in. But uh, let me just show you where I am. I am just parked outside of about an hour south of Ensenada at a vineyard on the side of the road <laughs> and yeah so this is uh, this is where we are right now so but there's a lot of shit we want to do a lot of talk a lot of things to talk about jackson uh fire away brother because it's all on you all right let's get right into it first and foremost shout outs i wanted to give a big shout out to custom x body boards and tubes body boards for helping to make the emma wood state beach bodyboard meetup expression session come together and thank you to everybody who came out for that we'll get into that a little bit more but uh you know what it was a phenomenal day and me and ivan eisenhower could not have done it alone yeah it sounded like a funny event i'm sorry i missed it but i saw the photos and how were the waves uh, the waves were multiple peaks a little side shore and sloppy the winds were a little harder than originally forecast but there was definitely something to play with We'll get into that in a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, fire away. I pretty much don't have anything. I don't have details. I know the uh, Arica Chilean challenge ended uh, with uh, some pretty awesome uh, video footage on the net and incredible waves they've had. But as far as any news or any anything else, um, shout outs uh, to you guys for being patient with me through all of this. I mean, I'm spending so much more time in Epic Surf Tours and it's getting caught up. So I need to get a little bit more discipline. I know it's becoming sounding like a broken record, but man, it's, uh, we'll dial it in. So hang in there. All right. Well, if we're going to jump into the news slash discussion part of this, uh, since we already touched on it, the Emma Wood expression session on Saturday, um, just an incredible event. We saw, you know, some really stoked 11, 15 year old Groms cruising the beach. Um, the kid who walked away with the free Custom X bodyboard, his mom had actually heard me on the radio the morning before and uh, brought her son down. They were asking questions, checking things out. The kid borrowed one of our demo boards and paddled out. And uh, he was easily the most stoked kid his name was Sage. He's from Oxnard. So you know what? We hooked him up big time. He got a board, a Grom model. He got a, a leash. He got a pair of fins. He got fin tethers. Whole setup. Kid was amping. Even messaged Custom X the next day and was like, I'm taking that board out today. So Sick. And Tubes gave away a board as well. So we stoked out a couple of Groms. And uh, it was really cool to see some kids on the beach and out in the water. Along with that, Jacob Reeve showed up and was absolutely slaying it. The waves were nothing to write home about. You know, there were some fun little peaks and wedges to, if you lined it up correctly. Jacob was blasting air roll spins and riding, you know, so smooth. You know, everybody on the beach was like, whoa, who is that? So it was great to see the Godfather out in the water at Emma Wood. And on top of that, yeah. there was there was some serious DK action going on out there. Throwing tail, buckets of water flying. I, I, you know what? It was feel good to see that kind of riding going down. Epic. I'm stoked Jacob Reeb showed up. He, he's definitely one of those underground riders who had the potential to take over the world. But for whatever reason, um, you know, he put his name, solidified it on the bodyboarding scene. But uh, life probably took over and he went off and did his uh, his thing. But 
man, he was one of probably one of the smoothest California bodyboarders to to you know grace us. So stoked he made it out there. And a couple more notables. Uh, Joey Gibbs showed up with his 1975 Moray Factory Team Rider board that he and Bobby Z shaped. And he actually had it out in the water, was riding it. And then he got to show it off later when Jimmy Hutaf from the foam company and a bunch of the Maui boys rolled up. That's sick. So, you know what? It was a solid day. We had everything from stoked Groms to stoked OGs, old Groms. And uh, it was just a great day. And uh, yeah. on that note, it looked like you had a pretty awesome, a pretty epic bodyboard weekend or this past weekend. Yeah, that was the reason why I didn't show up. Um, the San Diego Bodyboarding Club, they, uh, they picked a date way in advance and we made it into a bodyboarding Baja weekender. And I've been taking bodyboarders to this epic bodyboarding spot for, gosh, maybe four or five times. And we've never really lucked out as far as wave size and the conditions and everything. But this weekend, it did all come together and they all scored. It was uh, pretty amazing. We had Erika, um, Chad Talbot. We had uh, the Porto Experience, Alberto, And we also had uh, Joaquin from San Diego Bodyboarding. And it was, uh, it was a pretty, uh, I got in the water too, super stoked. The waves were big, the waves were firing and nobody got hurt, luckily. I saw the video footage, I saw the photos, that crew scored the goods they scored <laughs> <laughs> finally shit all right and uh next up on our list of things to touch base on definitely want to uh reflect on what went down in Eureka because Former world champion Amory Laverne had an absolute field day at Flopos. The final day, four perfect tens, two of which came in the final. So he won with a perfect 20 for 20. Most guys would be able to win a heat or a final with a 9.0 and an 8.6 as their top two scores. Maz, those were throwaway scores. Insane. He he was unstoppable. Yeah. And uh, you know what? If you want to check it out, go to IBC World Bodyboarding Tour on YouTube and look for Arika Final Day Highlights. It's a six-minute video clip, but it goes by fast because it's unreal from start to finish. Oh my God. I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch it, but uh, yeah. And I'm big shout outs to the, the webcast crew. They actually did us pretty stoked to see Fabio Aquino, uh, Bego and Mumbles. They did an incredible job. Fabio bringing his uh, history and his facts to the table was insane. And the fact that he was able to deliver a lot of information via Portuguese and the Spanish through Bego, English through Mumbles. It, it's, it's pretty solid crew they have going on right now. So shout out to those guys. Yeah, definitely. I actually touched base with Vigo a couple of times during the event and uh, just told her, you guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. And uh, let Mumbles and Fabio said, I, I said, hello. <laughs> yeah, it's sick. Yeah, that was a, that was a great. So we'll, we'll post uh, the highlight reel on Patreon for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, Next order of business. I got a couple of things on my side to touch base on. Um, today, we started production on the limited edition 35th anniversary uh, X35, as I've been calling it, collector's board. It, all of the boards are uh, polyethylene core, double stringer with you know, uh, vintage deck skins. You know, we we dug up some old deck skins from like 20 years or so ago. And uh, we're putting them on some boards and putting the boards up for sale. 
We have a full size range, everything from 36 to 44 size wise. Um, limited quantities, you know, we're making very few of these. These are a collector's item for the 35th anniversary of tubes. And I have to say thank you to Debbie Caldwell because she gave me full creative freedom on this project when I pitched it to her. Um, it's going to have special stamps made up for this run of boards. Each board will be stamped with this logo, as well as including one of these stickers in the packaging. And uh, you'll be able to appreciate this, Manny Vargas. The packaging will also include this poster with a Manny Vargas original photo. What? That's sick. I took that photo with my iPhone, believe it or not. So go figure. A board is being packaged with a poster of me and a photo shot by you. Thank you, brother. I owe you big. <laughs> yeah, no worries. And uh, I'm just stoked. Um, you know, that's one, one way of me giving back to Debbie and the crew because they really took care of me uh, for a few years back in the day. So um, and to this day, you know, they'll take care of me if I if I ever, have, you know, present a proposal. And they're always first ones to say yes. So yeah, I'm more than happy to to hand over a photo for the packaging and especially of you. So yeah, that's pretty solid. Yeah. So those are in production. Um, they when they hit when they're ready to sell, which is probably next week. Stay tuned to Custom X social media for a breakdown of colors, sizes, and. You, for those of you guys who like to collect boards, this is something you're going to want to jump on. They're going to go super quick. Um, as a matter of fact, when I start posting information and images of these boards, you're going to want to call Jojo at the factory like that, you know, because again, as I mentioned, this is a limited run. There's an extreme limited number of you know, even though we have a full size run, the numbers of boards available in those sizes is minimal. So, you know, this is a one and done deal. Once these boards are gone, we're not making any more. Damn, that's freaking insane. Well, there you go. Stay on top of the custom X social medias and that's where you're gonna, um, gonna hear it first, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Custom X social media, when those boards are ready to go because they're all going to be pre-made and ready to ship. So as soon as you make that phone call and make payment, that board is out the door and on its way. Sick. Hell yeah. Right on. Well, that's going to be exciting to, to check out. All right, Jackson, I'm good on this side. All right. I just have one more thing to touch base on. Um, yes. SoCal Body Borders, which was one of the first bodyboard groups on social media, um, has been a little dormant recently. Um, it has a new admin with Ivan Eisenhower from NorCal Bodyboard Association. And as of last night, I was made a moderator. We're uh, basically going to kick the tires and light some fires, get that bad boy rolling again. Epic. So right be sure on. to check out SoCal Bodyboarders on Facebook. If you haven't joined it in the past, be sure to join us, send us a request, and uh, we'll add you. Epic. Right on. Good job. Freaking good luck with that. Um, we usually have Monday motivation. Do you have anything for Wednesday? Monday motivation for this Wednesday, plain and simple. Stay stoked and boogie on. <laughs> with that, we'll see you next week.